So what's up you guys? And this your girl Sade. Come see you today with um a review on the nails, on the Broadway nails dress. I had them in a recent haul and a lot of you out there wanted to see a review and how to use them. So this is how they look. If you can see they have like they're silver and have like little stripes and stuff in them. And they're by Broadway. And I found these at a store called Fred's. So if you have a Fred's in your area, go check your local. Go check inside um, the the beauty the beauty area. And they, you, you might can just find them. But anyways, so I'm just going to show you um, how to use them. And yeah. So basically what I did, I have my nail dress. I have my top coat, which is um, OPI's base coat. I meant top coat. Then I have a top coat, which is by Ruby Kiss, and it's a base coat. And then I used the nail polish removal pads, whatever, to prep my, my nails for, um, for applying these. And then I just have, like, a nail buffer. So make sure before you do anything that you have a clean, neat area and that you have your area covered up because you don't want anything to spill or damage your table or whatever you're using to you do this on. So I will show you guys um, how I I really want to do the whole my whole hand, but I actually don't want to wear these yet, so I don't want to waste um, all of them. So I'm just gonna actually do this one finger which I've already applied my base coat, which is the Ruby Kiss base coat, base coat, sorry guys, and it's just like this mint blue or, yeah, mint blue looking color, and I have my top coat, which is OPI's uh, top coat, and it's a really good top coat. Now, if you, when you're applying these, you have to use a top coat or they're not going to last that long, and they normally last up to 10 days, maybe even longer, it depends on how well you upkeep them. And if you apply enough um, top coat to them. So I'm just taking them out the package. And this is how they look. They come in 28 different. Let me see if I can zoom in real quick. Camera is not going to focus. They come in 28 different. Um, there's 28 different nail wraps. And there's 14 sizes. I'm pretty sure you can't see that. And yeah. So it doesn't tell you on the back that you should apply base coat but I've used these before and I feel like if you apply the base coat because these nail dressings they have a sticky back and when you just apply it over your plain nails um, when you get ready to take them off it leaves kind of like a gooey sticky film that's really hard to come off so I feel like if you apply base coat first and then put them on I feel like you want you want to get that sticky, uh, that sticky adhesive that that's on the back of them. You want to have that on your nails, just peel right off. So, anyways, I'm not gonna do my whole hand. I'm just gonna do this one finger just to show you guys how to um how to do it. And um, what I did before I did that, I made sure I washed my hands and then I buffed out my nails or whatever. I buffed out my nails. And then I took my makeup remover pad and just went over it. And then once that dry, I took my um my base coat and applied it. And I find that when you buff out your nails or file your nails and then um remove the uh, white film from you filing your nails with a remover pad and then apply your base coat, I feel like it, it makes your base coat dry faster. Because it only took this like five seconds to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and begin. So what you want to do is you want to take this out. I'm just going to show you and it comes with another one. And you have all these different sizes. So what I would do is I would kind of put my finger up against it to see which one um, will fit. So I'm just going to take um, this one right here. And I'm going to take this little tab right here and peel that off. If you can see, I'm going to peel it off just like so. As you can see that, that is how it looks. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take my finger, I'm going to place it right there in the middle. You see that? Just like that. It also comes with this little nail buffer. So, it has a, a foul side, and then it has a smooth side. 
So once you have it on your finger, you just want to take it and just smooth out any openings or any rough edges. You just want to smooth it. Now if you make any mistakes, you can, also, you can actually peel this back up. So I'm just going to smooth out any edges with my fingers that I can and go all around. Now any edges that you can't get to, you're going to take the pink side only, not the black side. The pink side and then you're just going to you're just going to go all around the nail and what this does is make it stick and it just gets all those air bubbles out and it just it's just it just flattens it out. Just prep it. So I'm just going to keep doing that until I feel like I got all the air bubbles out and I feel like it is done. So that's how it looks. Now what you're going to do is, once you do that, you're going to take the black side of this razor, I mean, I'm sorry, of this file, and you're going to actually hold it like this, and I'm going to take it. And what you're going to do is you're going to place it at the tip of your nail. Now these can be applied on real nails or fake nails, so it doesn't matter. You're going to take this and hold the foul like this, and you're going to go down. You're going to foul down, 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 just like so. Down, down, down. And you're going to do that all around the tip of your nail. Down, 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 down. Try not to foul too hard because you don't want to foul your actual real nail. So once that is done, what it does is it peels the excess wrapping off, and basically, you've completed it so that is how it looks and these make great dupes for mink nails so I'm just I see a little air bubble I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna continue to foul around just gonna bust those air bubbles out and then next I'm gonna take my top coat and I'm going to open it if I can I'm going to take my top coat, and I love OPI's top coat. I love all of their polishes because their brushes is just, if you can see that brush is just so big, it fits around your whole nail. You only like need one swipe of it. So I'm just going to take that, and I'm just going to apply that to the nail. Just like so. Just going over it. Just like that. And that's all you need to do for this nail tutorial. So that is the finished nail. That is the finished nail. So I will have pictures at the end of how this nail looks so that you can see the complete look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.